Australia's biggest accounting firms are being accused of helping multinational companies avoid paying $50 billion a year in tax. A veteran of the tax industry is tonight blowing the whistle on behaviour he's branded unethical, aggressive and criminal. Stephen Long has more. When it comes to corporate tax, there's not much George Rosvani doesn't know. Now he's blowing the whistle on the big four accounting firms. They're now involved in perpetrating the greatest tax crimes in history every year. You'll find the big four in just about every major city. Not only do they audit the accounts of most of the world's top companies, they help them minimise their tax. It's very clear to me that the big four accounting firms are the masterminds of international tax avoidance. Globally, how much money are we talking about? The revenue, uh, globally, $1 trillion US. In Australia, easily $50 billion per annum. I don't think there's uh, an ethical free zone that these, co these companies or their advisors can inhabit. They are closely monitored by the ATO, by other regulators. I wrote the books on transfer pricing, yes. George Rosvani has been a corporate tax specialist for more than 32 years. He says the biggest problem is multinational shifting profits around the globe disguised as payments for intercompany goods and services. If you set up a sham transaction in a tax haven uh, with a viewpoint of shifting profits from a uh, high tax jurisdiction to a low tax jurisdiction, uh, this should be viewed as unacceptable behaviour by the international community. Rosvani claims techniques developed by the big four have been adopted by the underworld. They're all following the same financial saw, you know, basically tax avoidance, corruption, terrorism. The money comes from somewhere. He wants the big four broken up into smaller firms with their tax and audit functions separated, plus tougher penalties for corporate tax scams. If you introduce penalties in such a way that the heads of business uh, the leaders of business actually jailed for tax crimes. Uh, it would send a real message to the community. The Industry Association says, aside from isolated incidents, the big accounting firms are doing nothing wrong. They're very risk averse. They're very conscious of making sure that they stay within the legal parameters and give advice according to the law. Mr Rosvani says on tax, the law is behind the times. The big four either declined or did not respond to requests for interviews. Stephen Long, ABC News.